check out the website. Like, it has all the information. Use the toolbar. Like, just use the website, please. All your questions should be answered. Like, if not, call my mom and his mom. Okay? They'll all right. They'll get it done. They are your go-to reference. <laughs> so, this is our story section. Like, I decided, or we decided, but it was really me. I decided that instead of, like, writing out, um, how we met, it would just be easier to tell y'all and like a little more entertaining. So, how we met, Jelani? I hit up my sweet cousin Maya and said, Maya, <laughs> I know you got some friends at Hampton. Just go ahead and just slide me in, you know? I want a good girl though, you know? Somebody who I can take home to mama. And she came right back with the text message and said, I had the perfect person. So he hit up Maya and I was at her house and we were just drinking wine, watching TV or something. And she was like, oh, I have this cousin and he's really nice. He's gonna be in the NFL, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, he's probably okay. Like, all right. <laughs> she knew I was looking. I knew, she, you know, <laughs> that Maya had told her she was waiting. <laughs> so I slid in the DMs. And I was playing hard to get, like, no, mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna take extra long to respond to you, like, you're an athlete, you think you, you think it's gonna be easy, like, no. Mom, dad, you taught me well. Cause I was probably, like, in December sometime, and then, like, we were texting, like, getting to know each other. Me and Maya had planned to go to LA, cause that's where he was, training for the combine, to go to LA for, um, to like pick out our dresses for senior ball at Hampton, like we were gonna be extra and do it. But at the last minute she had, she couldn't go. And I was so mad, like I was nervous, I was scared. I was like, so I'm about to go to LA, like to meet this guy that I don't even know for real, like, <sighs> like I never told my dad. I ended up going to LA, I was on the phone with Tracy, like, oh my gosh, she's coming up, to, he's, he's about to get me, he's about to get me, like, he's pulling up. And yeah, we went to Chipotle. We went to Chipotle. And you know, I, I wowed her with my gentlemanism uh, and taking her in Chipotle, opening the door for her, getting, <laughs> making her sure she was a great experience for her. It, it was Valentine's Day weekend. Like, it ended up being Valentine's Day weekend, so like, that was really cute. She knew what she was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I did it though. But she like... came over for Valentine's Day, she knew. <laughs> and then, you know, we, we just, we kind of just hung out. I was actually staying at a, a apartment complex that the, the people that I was training with, the athletic, athletes first, they set us up into this nice little apartment complex. So I was talking trash, but it was like five star. We had a pool. Yeah. We had some really good facilities. So I was kind of, it was right by the beach, right by a real big shopping center. So I was kind of just talking trash and whatnot. And we just kind of enjoyed that area, went to the mall, you know, hung out by the pool, grabbed some beer, just talked, got to know each other. He couldn't even buy beer. <laughs> <laughs> she, she grabbed the beer. I had to get I was 22 and he was 20 and I was like... Yeah. I took her to Universal Studios out in Hollywood. So he paid for our tickets to go to Universal Studios and like, you know, my dad taught me, like, you know, don't... No, you know, you can pay for your own, like, you know, body, body, blah, equal rights, all that other great stuff. So I'm like, all right, you know, he paid for our tickets, I'll pay for, like, lunch. Man. This is when I realized how much he eats and, like, how expensive he is. We got, like, two beers, two pizzas, and I thought he was paying, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get some, like, fruit. Like, you know, I thought I, I, thought I was balling. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure we talked about it beforehand. I mean, a little shows. bit, but I know. Gonna you gonna take like... care of the food, I'll take care of the tickets. And it turned out to be like $72. And I was like, never again. Am I paying? Am I? No. Never. Never. Ever. I, I gave it all up for the tickets, so I, I needed her to, to take it. To take it. <laughs> <laughs> we really wanted to ride on this Transformers ride. And um, yeah, that's when I first found out how goofy she was, because she was just. So playful in the line and pressing buttons. So what does this button do? What does this button do? Getting all excited about it. And uh, that's when I first realized like, she's pretty cool. So for actual Valentine's Day that night, I took her out on a little date to the oh, yeah. to the beach. It was just really, it was, 
dark out, <laughs> you know. Didn't cost any money, so I, we just walked on the beach and, you know, talked. Got a chance to know each other yeah. even more. <laughs> she didn't give me anything for Valentine's Day. I literally, I was the present. My present <laughs> is a present and I made dinner, kind of. She made like one sock and made the rest of the dinner. Maya, this, this is you. The show. I, and then Duran. Duran helped too. Duran did help. The Cash family like put this Boop, boop. Cash, <laughs> Cash family. But yeah, um, that's how we met. I hope this video wasn't like too long or too boring. I know like the older people will watch it, but our friends are probably like, they didn't watch this. It's all good. We're gonna make them watch it at the rehearsal. <laughs> y'all gonna watch this video. <laughs> so welcome to our wedding. Like we're getting married, y'all. And you're invited. Aww, yay. Okay. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.